started going to church, started going twice on a Sunday. My parents thought maybe the church can help. Started leading at the local youth club. I read the Bible, I knew lots of answers. I could answer Bible quizzes, but I didn't really know Jesus. And outwardly, my life was improving. I was putting on weight, but inwardly, I was still very angry. I was living in deception. I was still binging and vomiting many, many times per day. Eventually, even though I was working as a physiotherapy helper, I lost my job because of the binging and vomiting. And around that time, a guy called Billy Graham was doing an outreach event called Mission England at Anfield. I went to Anfield. First night I went, Billy Graham told the story of the prodigal son about a guy that had took all his father's money, left home, but when the money ran out, his friends ran out and he got a job feeding the pigs. And he was so hungry that he was tempted to eat the pig food. And this just so resonated with me, with my binging and my vomiting and all the things that I was getting up to. And I just thought, God, I've made a pig's ear of my own life. I've tried to live my life my way and it hasn't worked. God, if you're real, please will you forgive me? God, if you're real, will you turn my life round? And I went forward onto the pitch and that was the night that I became a Christian. My life didn't change overnight, but as I became to understand how much God loved me, how much he cared for me, how much he had a plan and a purpose for my life, things did start to improve. I got a letter from a place called Teesside that I'd never heard of to train to become a physiotherapist. I came up, I qualified as a physio, and I met my husband, who interestingly had also become a Christian at a Billy Graham event at Sunderland at Roker Park, almost the very same week that I'd become a Christian at Anfield. God had his hand on my life. He's taken the mess that I made and he's transformed it. We now have six kids, four grandkids. We work in it as part of the leadership team of our local church. And God has done an amazing transformation because of his great love for me.